A little bit of a bizarre finish to this one. South Dakota roaring back from down 24 to make it a game late. Alex Faust, Steve Lavin here with you, but UCLA managed to hang on. First half, though, it was the Mooney show. Matt Mooney, 23 points. Yeah, Mooney was money in the first half, in rhythm, working well without the ball to get catches and shoot opportunities, able to drive to his left and his right. And then at the end of the first half, buzzer beater from Hands changed the momentum of this game. Jalen Hands hitting this. Yeah, it clearly served as a catalyst as it cut the six point deficit to three. And of course, Thomas Welsh, steady Eddie, and improved marksmanship from long range, tickling the twine. Welsh finished with 19 points, 11 rebounds, his seventh double double of the season. And he was also involved in the final play of the game that took a lengthy review. So, South Dakota. Roaring back late, they hit a three, time on the clock, a foul, and then as they try to inbound, a little tip off the hand. Yes, and uh, in my view, it appeared the ball had a different trajectory after it hit Welsh's hand. Uh, that's what makes for controversy. People are talking about it over root beers at different <laughs> pubs throughout the country. Well, it all came to a close after a lengthy review at the end of it. UCLA with a solid win over a team that might win a conference championship this year in South Dakota.